Hello and welcome. You're watching Head to Head and I'm Alas Gerjuk. This is the fourth year already that the start of May is a reminder of the tragic events in Odessa. On May 2nd, 2014, as a result of clashes between Euromaidan and anti-Maidan demonstrators, 48 people were killed, more than 200 were injured. The largest number of casualties was caused by fire at the House of Trade Unions. After the tragedy, residents of Odessa created the May 2nd group to hold an independent investigation of the event. To tell us more about it, we welcome to the studio one of the representatives, Serhii Dibrov. Hello and Hello. thank you for being with us, Mr. Dibrov. So first of all, could you remind our audience, please, what is the whole tragedy about? Uh, it was a terrible tragedy for our city, for citizens, and uh, I think for all Ukraine because it's it's impossible firstly it's impossible to understood to understand what what it was and it's impossible to understand uh, the situation in odessa too because odessa is uh, peaceful and uh, is this peaceful city of of commerce and uh, uh, this situation was like a bomb for mentality of odessa citizens and that's why we create the group and uh, in this group uh, there are uh, 12 members with a different political position, mm -hmm. but we worked together uh, like a one whole group. Mm -hmm. But let's give some uh, background to our audience. Some, um, so there were clashes between uh, pro-Russian uh, demonstrators and pro-Ukrainian demonstrators in Odessa, right? So yes, firstly it was clashes in the central part of the city. In, in uh, the downtown, and when uh, uh, three hour later, these clashes continued uh, at, at the pro-Russian uh, camp, tent camp uh, tent on camp. the Kulikova Polia Square, in the uh, near the Odessa, uh, in, in, near, near the, the central part of trade unions, right? Near the building of trade 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 unions of Odessa region. Yes. So then, what happened? The trade, the building was basically in fire, got in fire, and. Uh, this building was occupied by pro-Russian activists and, uh, perf and uh, uh, they prepare the uh, fortress, like a fortress, to, uh, uh, and, waits, and they wait for Russian, for Russian influ influence, for Russian attack from Transnistria to Odessa. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it was totally fake news for them, and they, this fake was, very, it was in very high cost for these people. Mm -hmm. And as far as I know, this fire spread from the first floor, right? As far as we know, to to the fifth floor. Like all the building was was in fire, and people what, people were jumping out of of windows, and that was a very very sad and very big tragedy. And still, it is a very big tragedy for Odessa residents and for all Ukrainians. But um, what was the starting point of these clashes? I mean, why did people get into fight? Mm -hmm. It's it's very interesting question because the uh, pe uh, people who uh, initiate these clashes are in the prison in Ukrainian prison now, and I think it's the first question to him uh, was uh, ha has to be has to be uh, asked by the Ukrainian investigators state investig investigators. Mm -hmm. So uh, these clashes were not spontaneous; they were organized. If you say that the, the uh, people who or only first uh, part of this of this event, only the first clashes, uh, clashes was organized and uh, directly uh, in directed to 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 be, mm -hmm. and then in, in in six years there were a lot of other events. These events are connected, but the results was not uh, expe expected by anyone. Mm -hmm. So, as far as I understand, you participate in this group of Odessa residents and journalists to investigate. So, um, who or organized uh, this, uh, this, this clashes? I mean, you mean the first part? Uh, this clashes was organized by the uh, field commanders of the Odessa, Odessa self-defense group of uh, anti-Maidan. Uh, it's a very uh, small, they're local and not too influent group of uh, Kulikova Pole camp, mm -hmm. it was. Are they sentenced? Are they jailed now? Uh, the, the person who was the, uh, who was the initiator of this event, he is in prison. 
uh, but uh, he is guilty. Uh, he is guilt by other other crime performed before this uh, event mm -hmm. in April uh, 2014. Well, also, um, another thing is that. Um, all these events, this is a great phenomenon for Odessa. It looks as a great phenomenon because earlier Odessa used to be considered as um, a bit passive city in pro-Ukrainian demonstrations and uh, a lot of pro-Russian um, projects were taking place in Odessa. So how could this happen four years ago? Mm, uh, the first, re uh, the first uh, reason is it, it was an ability of the uh, militia uh, to to keep the situation, to take it under uh, their own control. So people didn't feel safe? Uh, yes. And uh, then the people was permitted to, pre to, pre to, uh, to organize their own self-defense self group because the uh, uh, militia was uh, absent in city, mm -hmm. really absent, like an uh, organized uh, force. And then the, the politicians and the maybe extremist group uh, um, start to use these these self defense group to 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 achieve some uh, political uh, goals and i think the the uh, events of 2nd of may was the result of this of this whole situation but firstly it's inability of police of of militia uh, ca ca caused by corruption firstly mm -hmm. Yeah, inability to keep the environment being safe. Well, um, but what what was strange about policemen's behavior? I mean, there was one case when uh, uh, police blockaded the the pro-Russian uh, demonstrators, so it mo uh, moved them, it motivated them to get dispersed, and then these demonstrators started running around the city and uh, then the clashes basically they started after this uh, wrong blockader the behavior of, of policemen was behaved by the uh, tactical uh, situation of these days because the small group 100 or maybe 200 of pro uh, russian activists attacked uh, the large uh, crowd uh, one or maybe two uh, thousand of pro ukrainian activists and when the first clash was finished, uh, uh, it was a very terrible situation for pro-Russian. And police uh, w was permitted to protect there, to be the protectors, because it, uh, it was a very, uh, very hard situation for this group. But, uh, but it, was, it looks like a, a cooperation between pro-Russian pro and uh, activists and policemen. And it was the, the reason for uh, for cases for investigation according to policemen, mm -hmm. but there are no any reason to set about the presence of this cooperation like a pre a pre previously uh, previously <coughs> prepared cooperation. Mm -hmm. So there is not enough evidence for that. We we was unable to find any evidence about this. Did you cooperate with the police in your investigation? To, f to find out the truth. Uh, uh, yes, firstly, we have uh, we have published all our materials, all our results of our all uh, all our chronology of the of the of the situation. Mm -hmm. Firstly, so then it legally becomes an evidence in the court uh, after publishing. Yes, we officially uh, we officially sent it to uh, to prosecutor office to police. And this material was was used uh, by the police in this in, in their investigation. And as far as I know, you depicted all these data in in the documentary movie, right? Could yes, you tell us briefly the, about that movie? Yes, we we, we prepared the the, the the documentary. The uh, this uh, the, the, it is available for anyone in YouTube on our YouTube channel. We have prepared the. Uh, English, uh, German, Italy, Greek, and French versions. Oh wow! So, uh, so it's, it's what is the name of this movie then? Second uh, of May, the bloody trail of Russian Spring. And uh, the, uh, there are many members of this documentary. Uh, they they represents they re represent both sides of the of the of the event of the conflict. And so you you can you can build the. 
uh, global view of, of the situation by the eyes of, 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 uh, of uh, participants mm -hmm. of this. Where did you screen this movie already? Uh, this movie was showed by the UA First Channel, mm -hmm. Ukrainian First National Channel. We present this movie on uh, Latvia and Lithuania. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are uh, welcome anyone to see it because it's really good. I think it's a very really good job uh, mm -hmm. provided by, by our group. And what feedback did it receive in Latvia or Lithuania? Uh, Latvia and Lithuania, my citizens, uh, was very interested by this movie uh, s uh, because it was a very, uh, a very uh, serious uh, warning for them. For them too. Okay, well, let's hope that this tragedy is the last one in many, many years since on the peaceful part of Ukraine. And thank you for your contribution to the investigation and thanks also for this conversation. And thank you. That was Serhii Dibrov, representative of the May 2nd group. Thank you for watching Head to Head. I'm Alas Garduk. Goodbye.